So the first activity that we can do at home with our Numicon is to see if we can recognise all of these number frames. Okay, so I've got my Numicon set out like this. And the first thing we're going to do is point to each piece of Numicon together and decide what number it represents. So I would like you to pause the video and order your Numicon just like this. Okay everyone, so I've laid the Numicon out like this and I hope all of you have too. And we're going to go through each of these numbers together. Okay, so with me, let's start at the number one. Okay, so we've got the number one. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Okay, then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to jumble it all up. Okay, so jumble it all up just like this. Okay, so they're not in any order anymore. Okay, and we still need to see if we can recognise what each of these shapes are. Alright, so I would like you to lift up one of these shapes, okay, and say what number it represents. So I'm going to lift up this one. This one is a six. Okay, this one. This one is an eight. This one. This one is a two. This one is a ten. Okay, so I would like you to have a go. See if you can pick up each of these shapes and decide what number it represents. Once you've done that, keep jumbling them up. Okay, keep moving them around. Oh, we lost the number eight there. Keep moving them around like this, all right, and then lift them up again. What does this number represent? A three, that's right. Okay, so by practicing this activity for just five to ten minutes every couple of days, this will really start to help you recognise the number frames, and that will really help with your maths and activities to do with Numicon later on.